Hello everyone. Notice the angle of the hook, the way that the line went through the eye of the hook. Okay, this is a type of slip knot, round and round the finger, with just a short tag in your hand, around the index finger, it's a type of slip knot. This is monofilament, so three loops around the finger is fine. If it was um, fluorocarbon, I'd suggest four to five, depending on the thickness of the the line, if it was braid, probably five. Okay, notice how I'm slipping the slip knot over that hook in that angle. This is so the knot sits in the right place. Put the line through the eye of the hook. Not necessary, but boy, it looks a lot neater and all, all hides away a lot better and pull it down. Bit of lubricant, bit of spit. Cut the tag off. When you see a close-up of this, you go, wow, how neat is this? Look at that, brilliant. So you don't have the sinker or whatever you've got on there banging away on the, on the knot, wearing away on the knot that's on the other side of the eye hook. It's actually tucked away, hidden, super strong. You'll have no issues with this at all. Don't have a name for this, either of these knots, because I invented them myself. You notice this is a straight eye hook. You can put it through either way through that eye, it won't make any difference the way it sits. One, two, three, this is a very thick line. Three is fine, it's massive big monofilament line. As I said, fluorocarbon with the big thick stuff like this, four is fine. Braid, five. Okay, slip it over, it doesn't matter which way you do it when you've got a straight eye hook. But you'll probably get to do it the same way over and over again. Now, I've left that tag hanging out here on purpose because it's a great big hole in this eye. This eye is a big hole. So you can shove it through any time later and then snip it off. No problem at all. Wonderful. Snip it off. Next, we're bringing up a really simple loop type knot where you can change hooks and sinkers in a matter of seconds. It's going to be brilliant for you. And we'll move on to that in a second. This is a new channel I have, and it would really be appreciated if you could help me grow by clicking on the subscribe button now. Thanks, that would be wonderful. It's gonna be lots and lots of different things coming out. I specialize, my channel specializes in animals, nature, and fishing, things I love. Here you'll see them here, bent eye top and bottom, see the way it fits there, brilliant, and a straight, straight eye hook. Just so simple, so amazing. Okay, we're moving along now to a type of loop knot. So we've got the loop in our right hand or vice versa if you uh, need to go the other way around. One, two, three is all you'd need in monofilament. Depending on the length of the loop, really depends on what you're putting it over. If you've got a very long sinker or a lure or something like that, you'd need a longer loop. This is, this is more than long enough, this loop. Okay, pull on the tag and the line, pull it nice and tight, there's no issue here. Bit of spit is always good. I don't think I put any on this one, but a bit of spit's always good with this type of line. If it was braid, you don't need spit. Okay, cut the tag off. Beautiful. Once you've got this done, unless you get some bite off, break off or something or other, you can change your hooks, change your sinkers in. I've timed it up to four seconds if you went slowly. Really, that's as quick as that. Try tying a knot in some of these weird and wonderful hooks and lures in that, in that time. This is just, you know, it's just amazing. If you had a soft plastic and you got the loop the right length, you can just slip them straight, straight through the eye of the soft plastic and over the top of it, back, back, back towards the eye and it's all done. Look at that, brilliant. Important that you slip it through the angle I've got it on because it won't sit straight otherwise. And if you do it the right way, you'll see here, this is showing you exactly how to do it. So you've got the pointy bit of the hook facing towards your body. So you're putting it through the eye, from that angle over the top, pull it back and it will all sit nice and straight in the water. Brilliant. It's double length of line, very hard to bite off. No knot at all in the way. Slip it off. Just make sure you haven't got too big a line for your hooks, as we all should be doing, you know. You've got to set things up right in the first place. Here we go, this is just a straight eye hook. 
Not important really if you've got very light line, which angle it is, but anything I'd suggest you just do it the way I've shown. You have the pointy bit of the hook facing towards your body and shove it through that angle. Otherwise, the hook will tend to cock out on a funny angle and, and really, you know, I've done it wrong, so just turn it around. So it's as simple as that. Here we go, sinker. Obviously, it doesn't matter. A lure wouldn't matter either, but when you want a hook, when you have a hook on there, you want it to sit out there straight behind the line. There you go. Too easy. It's a bit of a close up of that. Not that that's really exciting for you. I'm sure you know what that looks like without really seeing it, but it gives me a chance to play with my little camera. Okay, here is it's only a tiny hook that, but it looks big. And there's the First knots I showed you, type of slip knot. Here's the loop knots. How easy are they, hey? Once you've got that, why would you go to anything else? And you know, it's just so simple and so easy and quick. I change my hooks all the time, you know, depending on what's biting, whether you, what bait you're using. 